All right, I'm Alexa Bigwarf with Write, Publish, Sell, and today I just want to walk you through looking at your sales reports on Ingram Spark. So if you're familiar with KDP or Create Space and you've just started publishing with Ingram Spark, or if you're just new in, in general, um, the the reporting is quite a bit different on Ingram Spark and it can be a little bit confusing. Um, the good news is that Ingram Spark has an incredible resources and help support area. If there's anything you ever can't find, just go into their help section. Okay, the first thing you're gonna do is log into your Ingram Spark account. Now you'll see your book on the first, um, on the main dashboard, but I've gone ahead and clicked on reports. So there are three things that you're probably going to be looking at most commonly. Now this publisher compensa compensation payments report, they'll actually email this to you usually at the end of the reporting period. But if you have an ebook out there, if you have print books out there, or if you have a book in pre-order, you're just going to click on whichever one it is that you want to use. Now the pre-order is pretty simple. So we're going to go in here and let's see when we put the pre-order Date range cannot be longer than a thousand days, so we're gonna do this. And then you just have to have the ISBN already ready to go. So if you have any pre-orders, it's going to show you the numbers. And here we have zero pre-orders on this particular <clears throat> item. Okay, so if you want to go in and look at your print sales report, it's a little more complicated. You're going to, again, you can either set to the last period, which is the last 31 days, or you can create your own period if you want to look across. Now you're gonna to have to choose, do you think these would be US sales, UK sales, or Australia sales? If you're a US author, probably mostly on here. You also click US dollars. Now it'll allow you to check multiple compensation types. Normally I just do POD, because that's what most of us are on here. And again, you add the ISBN, you can choose the title or the author. Now down here under my recording screen, if I can move this up a little bit, that's as far as I can go on this one. Um, it will ask you whether you want to do a screen display or an email delivery. So you can choose whether you want it in email to you in Adobe PDF, um, in an Excel spreadsheet, and then it'll ask you to put in your email address. Now, some of these you can just pull up on the screen if you only have one item selected. If you're trying to look at multiple things, like if I wanted to see all of these things, then the only option would be for me to have it emailed to me. We're going to click on the on it and you know this book just what literally is in review so I didn't anticipate any any information. Let's look at a different one that I So again, I'll choose print sales report. I'm going to do the last three periods. US, US, just print on demand in the ISBN. And I'm going to ask them to show it to me on the screen. And there we go. It'll show you how many books have been sold in that time frame. Now here's where you really see the difference. Like um, stores like to see it at a 55% discount. So you have the wholesale price, you have the quantity sold, you have the cost of the sales. Nobody's returned it, thank goodness. If it was returned, you would see the cost here. And often you may, if you have returns, you may wind up with a negative balance here because the cost, they charge you back the cost of the sale and shipping and handling. So for that, um, deciding to have the book returnable is um, a lot of bookstores prefer it but if I make it returnable I usually have them destroy the book so that I don't also get charged the shipping and handling to return it okay so there's your net sales then you also subtract out the print charge and at the end of the day for the three books the publisher receives six dollars and 48 cents for three books Other things that you may want to look at is if you have any, um, you're probably not going to be utilizing the invoices or billing statement. Uh, the compensation reports is again usually for um, what you have been paid out. So if you want to get a report on that, um, 
the pre-order report we just went through and transaction history you can see what's ha been happening on here so this shows you like what has been paid out and sometimes if you have returns you can be in the negative so okay returns are somewhat dangerous all right so uh, most of this other stuff like i said you'll never need to look at i actually don't have any ebooks out on here so i wouldn't have anything to show you but if you have any questions on this feel free to send me an email at info at right .co if you need help getting books loaded and set up properly in ingram spark we do this as well um i'm happy to spend some time uh, if you're looking for someone to help you through the process and to make sure everything is all set up, we can arrange that for you too. Have a great day. And if you found this video helpful, if you would subscribe to our YouTube channel, visit us at writepublishcell.co and um, spread the word. We're also on Facebook, Twitter, everywhere you can find us, Write, Publish, Sell. Thanks so much.